discuss hydrogen spectrum. So energy level are given given here. So this is coming from the formula minus 13.6 j square by n square. Let's say electron is jumping from higher state to lower state. That is higher state n is equal to three to lower state ground state. Then here energy is decreasing because here energy is minus 13.6 electron volt and here energy is around minus 1.51 electron volt. So energy decreases here. Magnitude is more, but minus sign is there. Be careful. So energy is decreasing and the decrease in energy when it jumps from higher state to lower state. Will emit as a photon. So the difference in energy, delta E that is E three minus E one, you will get around twelve point zero nine electron volt, and the corresponding wavelength is at C bar lambda. Or let me write one two four zero zero electron volt, and lambda in nano in angstrom. Is equal to 12.09 electron volt. After solving this, you will get wavelength around 1026 angstrom. Very very simple. The difference in energy is coming at photon. Similarly, if a electron jumps from lower state to higher state. Then energy is required, or it will absorb energy. It required energy. How much energy is required? Here energy is minus thirteen point six. Here energy is minus three point four. So the difference in energy, this minus this, this minus this, is ten point two electron volt. This much energy is required to jumps from here to here. Let's say a photon. Collide with the electron, giving this much energy. So the energy of this photon, who gave energy to electron, is 10.2 electron volt. Again, in place of S, C put 12400 electron volt. You will get lambda in angstrom. After solving this, you will get wavelength lambda at 1216 angstrom. Now we can write this. This is called absorption spectrum because it is absorbing, and this is emission spectrum because it is emitting when it is going to lower state. Here it is going to higher state. So here we can derive a formula also for any spectrum. Let's say for emission spectrum. So this is the initial state and this is the final state. So at C by lambda is equal to energy of which state is higher energy. Initial state has higher energy. So E initial minus E final that is E initial is we know energy can be expressed as minus R at C. J square by n square. So let me write E initial minus R at C J square by initial square minus n minus plus R at C by n final square J square. So here it will be R at C J square. And final square minus an initial square. At C, at C cancel. So one bar lambda is equal to R J square one by n final square minus one by n initial square. Using this formula also, you can calculate this. And the value of R is 1.09. You can use. Let me write another digit, 10 to the power 7 meter inverse. So here it is. From third state, it jumps to one state. 
So initial is n is equal to 3 and final is n is equal to 1 and for hydrogen atom z is 1. So you can write here 1 bar lambda is equal to now r value of r is 1.09 into 10 to the power 7 final is 1 minus initial is 3 to the power 3, 3 square is 9. So after solving you will exactly get the same wavelength. Okay. So aage badte hai fir. Let's proceed. Aur baagi corona chal raha hai. Dekh ke raho. I mean bahar jada mat jao. Don't go outside. I mean too many times. Uh, so stay in home. Start करते हैं फिर. Let's proceed. क्या? Now hydrogen spectrum. Let's continue. Uh, let's discuss different series in hydrogen spectrum. Lyman ball passed in bracket perform. One electron jumps from higher excited state to the ground state. Two to one, three to one, four to one, like. One electron jumps from higher excited state to second state. Three to two, four to two, five to two, ball move. Yeah, I was pouring ink and it fallen into my eyes. Okay, ठीक है. अब Pascal series. Four to three, five to three, like this. Bracket five to four, six to four, like this. Perform also similarly like this. Six to five, seven to five, like this. This is in ultraviolet region. This is in visible range. This is in infrared range. This is far infrared. Okay, all three are in infrared. You have to remember this ultraviolet, visible, and infrared. Because questions sometimes comes like second line in visible region. So, Lyman series, this is the first line and this is the last line. So, this is the last line. Balmer series, this is the first line, this is the last line. Pascal also like this. What is the second line of Balmer series? This line that is 4 to 2. Right. So, now... If I ask you, find the wavelength corresponding to second line of Balmer's range. Second line of Balmer's range. So, what is the energy difference? Second line, right? Balmer, this is energy equal to 2. This is fast, this is second line. Here energy minus 3.4 electrovolt. Here energy is, I think, yeah, minus 0 0.85 electrovolt. So the difference in energy is 2.55 electrovolt. So corresponding wavelength is HC by delta E. So 1, 2, 4, 0, 0. You will get in Armstrong by 2.55 electrovolt. And finally you will get 486 nanometer, uh, 486 uh, 0 Armstrong or this is same as 486 nanometer. 486 G. I just made an approximation. Ah, you can solve it from this formula also. That is 1 by lambda is equal to R. 1 by N initial minus N final. Initial is 1 by 4 minus Oh, sorry. 1 by n initial is, yeah, you will get 1 by, this is 4 minus 1 by 16. 1 by n final minus n initial. So, you can get, you will get the same end. Now, let us solve one more example. So this is the question. The photon radius. 
corresponding to second line of Leibniz series. So, this is the question. So here, the photon radiated from hydrogen corresponding to second line of Leibniz range. Second line of Leibniz range. So, this is second line of Leibniz range. And the energy of the photon is this difference. That is 13.6 minus 13.6 by 9 kilopropod. Minus, minus, minus sign I forget to give them. So, this is the energy of a photon emitted in second line of line of series. This is first line, this is second line. And this energy is absorbed by some hydrogen like atom. It may be helium, it may be lithium, it may be helium plus, it may be lithium plus plus, I don't know, but that X is in second excited state, so X is in second excited state, means third state, it may be either here or here, why I am considering only helium plus and lithium plus plus, because in this type of question, they will not ask you far away is ions like oxygen or nitrogen. They will most of the time give you like this only. That's why I am considering this. This type of uh, sense will come when you practice the question. No problem. You all will get this type of sense. Let's understand first the solution. Okay? Yeah. Sorry. So, uh, so this energy and someone is in second excited state X. And they receive second excited state as a result. The hydrogen like atom X makes a transition to nth orbit. So they receive energy and they make a transition higher excited state because they receive energy. And this difference in energy must be equal to whatever they transition or whatever they transition. This difference in energy or this difference in energy must be equal to this energy of the photon right now so this is 13.6 and this is also 13.6 by 9 with this third state and z square z is 3 here so 3 square 9 and if I consider a state where 13.6 into z square divided by here 9 is there so let me write 36 and 36 means 13.6 z square by 6 square so for the 6th state the energy is so this difference in energy it's same as this difference in energy so because of the transition of the electron here energy is emitted and this energy is received by this electron and it go, went 
up to the state from third state to sixth state. Right now it's very very simple. So why I consider lithium? This is the sense. You will also get it after solving two three problems. It's not difficult. Okay. Now let me tell you one more concept. That is. If electron is in n state, the number of possible transition is n into n minus one by two. So if it is in second state, the number of possible transition is one because two into two minus one by two. If electron is in second state, the number of possible transition are this is one. This is two. This is three. So n is three. Three into three minus one by two is three. If electron is in fourth state, number of possible transition are yes. Ah, uh, it can go to this, 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 and it can go to this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, four into four minus one by two. We will solve the question. Later from this example. Now, on the next video, we will discuss previous year question paper. And after doing this, definitely 90% probability that you you will able to solve question whatever coming in main.